William Lauer was a photojournalist for the Journal Star for 13 years. He worked to educate people about ALS and to raise money to fight the disease. Lou Panzing was a local pioneer in teaching children with dyslexia. She served on the board of the Nebraska Chamber Orchestra and supported Lincoln's Symphony Orchestra and the Lead Center. Frances Reiner was a teacher, literary scholar, and writer who completed two books. She taught sessions for other teachers in the Nebraska Writing Project and led courses and workshops in multicultural education. She was a Mayor's Arts Awards winner in 1993. Clarice Hasty taught children's art, gave demonstrations, and worked for many years at LPS. Her art is represented by galleries in her native France, as well as Germany and several Midwestern states. She participated in the Lincoln Arts Festival, the Tour de Lincoln Bike Project, and the YWCA Star Art Project. Larry Beamer, the longtime owner of the Zoo Bar, booked many nationally known blues musicians and earned the small downtown bar a worldwide reputation. He had a Master of Fine Arts degree from UNL and played the bass. He was a Mayor's Arts Awards winner in 1991. Lynn Ridge was a costume designer for the Omaha Community Playhouse and designed costumes for Lincoln Community Playhouse Productions. She also created puppets, mascots, and pottery, designed parade floats, made fabric art, and painted murals. As the wife of Hallmark's chairman, Lincoln native and UNL graduate Adele Hall was a Kansas City civic leader. She established a professorship in English at UNL. She and her husband provided major support for the LEAD Center as well as the International Quilt Studies Center and Museum. Sue Blomgren was a board member of the Nebraska Art Association as well as a docent at the Sheldon. Mike Kulo was an abstract painter and mental health advocate. He wrote and filmed the movie about mental illness and participated in Artists on the Edge. He had a fine arts degree from UNL and was working on a second film and an anthology of his mother's poetry. Banker Eames Irvin appreciated fine design and served for many years on the city's Urban Design Committee. Barbara Rickstein Danielson shared her love of reading through library and book club presentations, reviews in the Journal Star, and a column in Elle magazine. Dorothy Zimmerman was an English professor at UNL. Her publications included an edition of George Sand's The Country Waif and an autobiography of her pioneering aunt. She co-edited and wrote for French Women Authors, a collection of essays that is a library standard. Longtime Emeritus CEO Harry Seward was a member of the Nebraska Art Association and the Mid-America Arts Association. Elizabeth Otrudowski was a photographer and took photos at Black Elk's funeral in South Dakota. She played the piano, violin, ukulele, guitar, and banjo and set some of John Nyhart's work to music, including Black Elk's Prayer. Eloise Rogers Agee served on the boards of the Lincoln Community Playhouse, the Nebraska Art Association, and several other arts organizations. She and her late husband Richard supported many local nonprofits, including the Sheldon Museum of Art and the Lead Center. William Sundin was a member of the Lincoln Youth Symphony and high school bands, as well as the groups Elysian Fields and Iron Horse. After high school, he became a popular performer and songwriter in New Orleans. When he returned to Nebraska, he performed for special events and with a bluegrass group and a country band.